I'm Jen Pagani, one of our SAT teachers here at Newton. Hopefully by now you've all gotten a chance to try our tough SAT challenge question. I've got it written up on the board behind me, so let's go ahead and walk through it and you can see how you did. So this is an improving sentences question, which is all about grammar. You're going to have a sentence written, part of it's going to be underlined, and your job is to check to see whether that underlined part of the sentence has errors. If it doesn't, your answer is going to be A. If it does, you're going to look at the other answer choices and try to find the version that rewrites the sentence correctly. Okay, so let's take a look at this question and see what we've got. In 2003, cyclist Lance Armstrong became the first American to win the Tour de France five times. Now, I know I still have more sentences to go, but I'm going to stop right there. My SAT alarm bells are already ringing here, and I'll tell you why. That first part of the sentence is a complete sentence, right? I could put a period right after this word and have a complete sentence. Cyclist Lance Armstrong became the first American to win the Tour de France five times. So you want to get used to looking for complete sentences. Look for elements of improving sentences questions that can stand on their own as complete sentences because there are very special, very specific rules of how we connect pieces of sentences. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of the sentence. Moreover, in 2005, he became the record holder by winning his seventh consecutive tour. Okay, now hopefully your alarm bells are ringing now too because that's also a complete sentence. So we've got two things, both of which can stand on their own as complete sentences. How do we connect them to make them one sentence? Well, on the SAT, there are two ways you can do it. You can use a semicolon, or you can use a comma and a fanboys word. And these fanboys words are really cool. There are four and nor, but, or, yet, and so. So if you take the first letter of each word, you've got fanboys. Those are the only words that you can use to connect complete sentences, okay? So remember that rule. Two complete sentences, you're looking for a semicolon or a comma fanboys word. A comma on its own isn't going to cut it. And look, that's what we've got in the sentence as written. This lonely comma all by itself. So answer choice A, the sentence as written, that's going to be out of there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is look for the same error in any other answer choices. Do I have any other answer choices that make the same mistake, that incorrectly connect these two complete sentences? And what do you know? I do. It's going on in answer choice B, right? I've got this comma then. Well, then's not a fanboy's word, so B is going to be out of there. And in E, I've got, again, this comma moreover. Moreover, not a fanboy's word, so E is out of there. Now C gives me this semicolon, which I like. And D gives me this comma and. And is a fanboy's word, so I also like that. So now that means there's got to be another error going on here. What is it? Let's see. Well, let's look at answer choice D. Lance Armstrong won his fifth Tour de France for the first time as an American who was a cyclist. Now, you should be saying to yourself, that doesn't really make sense in a whole lot of ways, right? Let's look at this. How could he win his fifth Tour de France for the first time? That doesn't make sense. And how could he win it for the first time as an American? Was he a Canadian every other time he won it? No, that doesn't make sense. And how could he win it for the first time as an American who was a cyclist? I mean, was he winning it the other times as an American who was a ballet dancer? No, right? So many ways in which D does not make sense. So don't forget, not only do SAT sentences have to be grammatically correct, they also have to be logical. They have to make sense. And D has a whole bunch of logic problems. So D is out of there, and C is our correct answer choice here. We've got that nice semicolon to connect two complete sentences. So keep your eyes open for things that can stand on their own, and remember the appropriate grammatically correct ways to connect them. Thanks so much, guys. Hope to see you in class soon.